Hi, I'm CC, and welcome back to the Backyard server. I am here in my brand new little turtle sanctuary, and I love it. Uh, I kind of built this off screen because I needed some cooldown after the absolute escapades I went on to get these turtle guides. And actually, where are they now? They've, they've, uh, they've gone missing. Oh well, they've got loads of little eggs and stuff hatching and grow. Oh god, it's hard to control myself from this angle. Got a little like rock pool sort of thing going on with some coral, got like some planks as sand, you know, it's it's kind of hard to terraform a beach kind of aesthetic. There isn't a massive amount of blocks you can really use that are directly beachy, so I've had to experiment with a bit of them. Like I've been experimenting with adding some like, I've got some upside down sandstone stairs here to give like a bit of a cobbly look, and then I've got the... But I tried experimenting with a bit of birch planks and stuff, but yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan of this area. It's just nice and cozy. But where are the my... Where are my turtles? Oh, there's one over there. Hey, little guy. And, uh... Oh, uh, hello. There's this guy here. I don't know, he's, he seems like he's just contemplating things. Hey, bud. <laughs> oh, I love them. Even if you did take four hours to get... Yeah, four hours. It was not fun. Okay, it says, turtle eggs hatch on sand, red sand, or suspicious sand. I didn't know that. Eggs hatch significantly faster at night time. Well, I wish I hadn't slept. <laughs> maybe may, uh, maybe include some of my escapades in a uh, like secondary supplementary video, because it says a lot. <laughs> but basically, this was done for a purpose, aside from just being fun. Because basically, I want to make a gold farm. And for a gold farm, you need to have some turtle eggs. And I thought rather than just getting some turtles and just getting a few eggs and just leaving them somewhere, I thought I'd give them a nice place to stay, even if they don't seem to actually want to stay here. He just likes the sand. I think he's just a land turtle. Maybe he's a tortoise. And yeah, so I needed some eggs. And I now have enough eggs. But there's more blocks I need, so how about we start today by getting into a little bit of a resource montage. Let's go! Okay, um, something bad has happened. Uh, I forgot I wasn't wearing gold, and a piglin saw that as an opportunity. <laughs> and has pushed me here. Uh, <laughs> oh no, no. Okay, I need to check the recording and see what the coordinates are and get someone on to help me, otherwise I'm dead. <laughs> oh no. Hey. Hello. Hi. Hello. So you're I'm dead. On... Well, not. I'm slightly. all alive but not i'm currently showing it uh i'm gonna go drop some sand on that spot ah 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 <laughs> okay well i've died <laughs> oh no Tear <laughs> help us <laughs> is there enough time to throw a fire resistance potion on you i don't know i think might just like put, like sand over the lava or something and just all uh... oh, right sand what were you doing with llamas the other day Oh, I was moving all my alts. Oh, is that uh, what you is? <laughs> I've got no idea how deep this is. Jesus. Oh. Hi. Hi. Yeah, you're alive and. <laughs> I live. Thank you. That that could have been really bad. I would have lost my goat horn. Can someone bring me a snack now? Yeah, where, oh, yeah, where what's your you? coordinates? I'm pretty close to the portals. Oh, I'm I like... I can hear you. Oh. There you are. Oh. Echo. Echo. Hello, welcome to my hole. Thank you. Woohoo, we all made it out. Yeah, it's thank you so much. I jumped down right onto that blaze spawner. I didn't realize it was a blaze spawner. Ah, it I was, see. Uh, very tragic. Oh, you've ended up living above yeah. that. I see that. <laughs> there you go. Oh, wow. Get a life. <laughs> <laughs> well, that could have gone better. <laughs> um, but hey, we now have all of the magma blocks. Got three shulk box worth of them. I think this is actually more than I need. And then I've also got the other materials here. I've got my turtle eggs. I've got some glass. Got some of the hoppers and stuff. 
and some trap doors. Uh, I'm not going to be going for the most insane gold fan design. I don't really need anything super fancy. So how about we go and head up to the nether roof where I think I've got a perfect spot to build this thing. And luckily there's already actually a hole there to get to the, uh, the roof so I don't even have to bother with that. So just over here we've got this little staircase and then at the top of this really annoying staircase, this might take a second. Oh god, there we go. We've got a ladder that takes us up to the nether roof. Now this is actually pretty much a perfect place because just over there, by there, those portals over there, I believe that is the like spawn area. So we're not too far away and my base would probably be about under those red mushrooms there. So we're not that far away from my portal. So now I need to go about actually building the farm. So the design I'm going to be using is pretty simple. It is by Kelp MC, And yeah, so let's get into maybe a little time lapse. I don't know what we'll do here. In a second, there'll be a thing. Oh, and it is built. It is all in and it is looking rather robust. <laughs> Look at the size of it. It's actually not as tall as I thought it would be, but it seems to be quite effective. Yeah, quite effective. So, yeah, this is designed by Kelp MC, and again, it's just fully AF cable. It uses quite a few magma blocks and quite a few turtle eggs, but that's fine. I, that wasn't too hard to get, aside from all of the things that made it hard. There's a few things I still need to do. Like, I need to sort out a, like, actual uh, storage thing. Because right now it's just a bunch of chests, and I don't love that. It's also a bit loud down here. <laughs> so, what I'm thinking is I am going to set up some crafters to craft up all of the nuggies into gold blocks. So I have to set one of those up. And I also need to have a way of getting up to the top. Okay, so I, I, just, a, uh, da, 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 I just did a little AFK session just to get an idea of what the rates of this are going to be like. Uh, the server closed midway through, but I think I was here for at least an hour. And I got quite a bit of nuggies, like quite a bit. So let's quickly craft these guys up, see how many blocks we get. And then that can kind of decide on how much we're going to deal with like crafting and auto auto craft, auto making blocks. Okay, so in that little uh, AFK sesh, I got four and a half stacks of gold, which is amazing. That's probably, oh, hello. That's probably all I need for the actual rail system, which is kind of the main reason I made this at all. I just need, like, so many powered rails and I'm completely out. So this should probably cover me for at least a long while. And while I was doing this, a bunch more, like, nuggets and stuff came into the system, so... But I'm gonna actually need to clear out the storage first. And there's lots of rotten flesh in here. Now I'm weighing up if I actually want to keep the rotten flesh or not. Because this is a lot. And I was like, I don't really need it. I guess I can get some clerics and get some redstone, actually. So, yes, I'm going to keep it. Never mind. <laughs> okay, I've relocated all the flesh into here. That is an awful sentence, but... God, this is going to get me lots of redstone, actually, now that I think about it. I think clerics give redstone. Might be mistaken. Otherwise, this might be useless. But anyways, let's get into making a little crafting array. So, luckily, since I am just AFKing up top and not actually, like, killing them myself... It means that I'm only going to be getting two drops, being golden nuggets and the flesh. If I was using a sword, I'd be getting golden swords and possibly golden ingots as well, which would add a bit more complexity to the redstone. And I'd have to like try and filter all of that stuff out. Okay, so I've made this uh, system here for crafting, and I I hate it. It's terrible. It is mainly an issue in that it's like completely overflowed i went afk for about uh probably about like half an hour and it like instantly like it was too much so i'm gonna have to make a new design that has a higher capacity because right now all the items get put into a single hopper line and it's completely bottlenecking yeah so let's clear out the thing i've made just here and then try and do a new one Maybe try and do one that is, like, tileable. So, like, I have a few next to each other. So let's quickly just remove this first. But I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do this. Because there's not exactly a massive amount of space to work with. I need to first filter out either the gold or the 
rotten flesh. And then I need to craft it up all in the space of, what, like, five blocks? So let's just grab some, uh... I usually use terracotta for my building, but I don't have any. Copper it is! Let's start by extending out some hoppers this way. I've got just enough space down here, that's good. Okay, I think I'm going to do the gold crafting on the bottom, just because there's going to be a lot less nuggets than there's going to be rotten flesh. I think. So what I'm thinking is maybe I can just set this up with whenever an item goes through one of these item filters, it just pulses all three of the crafters. Okay, uh, I've made the, uh, the, 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 it's here and it's terrible and I hate it, but it's fine. It should be working a lot better now since it's basically three times faster. I just need to actually plug it in. But over here, we've got the crafting setup, we have the individual item sorters, these are all set to gold nuggets. I might actually switch those items out for like other items just so it doesn't overflow as easily. Bam, okay there we go. And then uh, for the actual crafting, I've basically just put a comparator on the side and whenever there's an item going through the system, it will basically just repeatedly pulse the uh, the, the crafters. So if I just quickly do a little bit of uh, this, you'll see it goes wet, 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 wet. So that way it's crafting all the crafters at once. I don't have to individually check each of them. And since it's nuggets, the only recipe is the full crafting grid. So it's not going to make anything by accident, which is nice. Then all those crafters just go into hoppers, which then goes into one bigger crafter, which will make the blocks. Uh, and then over here we got some shulker loaders. I don't know who made the original design of this, but they are super cool and they're pretty much my go-to since they're completely tileable. And this is where all of the finished rotten flesh things will get packed up. But I need to actually fill up the shulker boxes for now. Yeah, the, 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 the glaring issue with this is this stupid long uh, copper platform, but uh, I'm going to put some pops on top of all this because apparently that will, will reduce the lag. That looks so dumb, <laughs> but apparently it makes it run better. Get See if I can land on the platform. Oh, got it. Okay. And let's get a timer and we can see how long or how much we get in a uh, an hour long AFK session. Okay, be back. Okay, it's been an hour, so let's see how it has done. Oh, that was a bit more speed than I intended. Uh, okay, so let's see the rotten flash first. Got, hmm, that's not right. Some of these aren't full. But got about five shulker boxes of rotten flesh. Not sure why they are like that. And what about the gold? That's also wrong. Great. <laughs> but uh, nothing seems to have backed up and there's no items stuck in the system. So that seems to all be good. Okay, let's see if I can quickly fix this and then we can get on to doing some of the transport up and down. Okay, uh... So I'm a bit resident out for the day because <laughs> I, I, I did a stream earlier. I made a piglin bartering farm with some people and it is down below. I'll show you a clip of that and then we'll head over and check it out. Yeah. We said, oh, oh, I just threw it by accident too early. I'm hoping that it, that worked. Oh my God, he logged on perfectly the exact time. That could have been rich. Oh, yeah. <gasps> is this it? Yep, this is it here. This so is this so is, pretty. This is Cornelius. He is our uh, worker. He has an iPad there playing it looks cooking like he's videos. Doing something. Let's look, look at him. Let's leave, let's leave him to his business. But in here we're getting no oh. we're getting iron nuggies, soul sand, fire charges. Oh, that's so good. Leather. Got gravel. Gravel's the thing I'm excited about. I was gonna say gravel is actually really valuable. And then in here and we got some stone. other. Oh my god, the blackstone. Yeah, I know. So we'll be we'll be making a shop. The thing is, like I said, anyone who helps me out on stream will get a free cut, and like seven people came. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> they didn't fix the oh, dome. It's still so pretty. No, the dome is still messed up. They never fixed it. <laughs> oh, I don't see a problem. That's fine. It's kind of it's I like it being a bit wibbly wobbly. Uh, I might I'm gonna be setting up some shulker box loaders probably. Uh, oh. At some point, but trying to do redstone while they were actively. You can actually see down below what was happening. You can see where Mint fell oh. in the lava. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! 
Yeah, I don't know how any of these things work, so this is all really fascinating to me, just seeing all this stuff uh, up. Basically over here has just got a crafter that crafts up eight, uh, one block of gold into nine ingots. It throws it onto a little pile in the corner behind this wall. He just picks mm. it up. He he he, he, he's just, he fiddles with the items and then chucks them into the floor. And then just yeah. hoppers take it over and put them in chests over here. Oh yeah, he's got the little special organizer. That's so cool. So this system is now all up and running and great. It's a little bit there. It's still a little bit slow because we've only got one guy in here, but I'll get some friends for him in a bit. But for now, I want to take a little bit of a focus on the sorting system. As we have uh, 13 chests back here, each with uh, different items like obsidian, fire charges, arrows, stuff like that. But then at the end here, we have this sort of weird little barrel of just random stuff because these items are non-stackable, so can't be sorted using regular item filters. But the only items we're actually that interested in are probably going to be the enchanted books. Fire resistance potions and stuff are nice, but they're not exactly like amazing and the water bottles obviously no one cares about. So I would like to try and sort out the books. And what I've done is back here, I've set up a little bit of a book sorter. That's that all sorted, then I can just put a hopper underneath and that'll take all the books out and put them into this barrel over here. So over there, just beneath that gold glowstone, there is a spiral staircase that takes you up to the piglin farm. But I hate walking up there, it's awful. So I want to set up a little minecart that will take me up there, put me in the AFK spot and then just leave me there. And then once I am done AFKing, I can just like push a button and it'll bring me back down here. So the issue with using a minecart is that if I want to get one up to like above the bedrock, I, I'm going to have to have like a diagonal of bedrock open. And like, I don't know how I'm going to do that. Like I can use a like be bedrock buster, which is like not too hard to do like a single like hole, but to get like quite a few of them in an area is going to be a lot of work. And I don't know how I'm going to go about it. It's a bedrock. I think that's going to make a big hole. I'm going to try and make as big of a hole as I can. And that is where I'll try and leave it so i guess time for a bedrock breaking montage oh this is gonna be a pain i have a hole this was actually a lot easier to do than i initially expected like i got a pretty clean hole here so what i want to do is i want to make it so there is a rail that takes me all the way up to the top there unfortunately i've positioned this hole directly underneath the farm so i have to make the rail uh, swerve off to the side a bit and then go up which is annoying so i need to have two minecarts one that is a player minecart that'll take me up to the top there and put me in the AFK position. While I'll have another uh, minecart, like a minecart chest, that will go down here and pick up all of the items that get farmed. So the rotten flesh and the gold. Th there's the easy option, which will be I just have a button up top and a button at the bottom. Takes me between the two spots. I could use tickets, but I think it's a bit over. That's unnecessary, I think. So what I'll do is I'll set up a track switcher where the empty, where a minecart chest will go over here. I'll go up top. And then when I come back down, the minecart chest will come with me. So I might have to go up in the air a little bit, though, to do it. So let's uh, uh, give me a second. I'll be right back with you. I, uh, I may have overdone this a little bit because uh, uh, I ended up doing all of the loop and all of the bit that goes at the top. Makes you a little bit dizzy. Oh god. Oh, oh god. Oh, aye. But it takes me all the way up to the top to this uh, bit here, which is perfectly in the AFK position. It is actually two blocks lower, but that's kind of all I could do because, well, I was at build height, so. So that's all of the spiral sorted. It looks absolutely ugly, but so does everything here. Maybe we'll just commit to it. But if I just quickly get out and then jump all the way down, wee. Uh, down here, I have set up a little track switcher majiggy. Why did I not bring the minecart? Okay, so I've built a little track switcher here where basically the first minecart will go forward and up the spiral, and then it will switch the track for the second minecart to go over to here with the, uh, the, the, the thingy, Bobby. And the same thing should happen over this way where it'll just switch this track to that direction. And then when I want to get back, the minecart will come all the way down, switch the track back that way, and it sends a little redstone signal over to this bit here, which is the loading area, where it will just send the minecart off on its way and it will join up with the other one down below. So I need to go grab the minecart again. 
so back down at the bottom, if we could head down there. The minecart track kind of just drops you off to nowhere right now. So let's get ourselves a minecart station. And here we are. We've got in a nice little station room. Nothing too fancy, just some basic little minecart pods where you just press the button. It'll send them off up to the top area and do all the redstone stuff. Just a little test run and it seems to all be working. The minecarts all end up in the designated areas perfectly fine, which is great. And I've got this like a little glass floor again. <laughs> this is poor sad striders up there, down there. But aside from that, it just connects up to the uh, central room over here where uh, I had a bit of a portal mishap. I moved my portal from here to over here and for some reason that was just enough of a distance to make it so they no longer link up to each other. So when I came through the portal again, this one has ended up linking up to BH's base and then this one has linked up to my base. Yeah, I'll have to find some sweet spot between the two, hopefully I can get that sorted between episodes but I don't know enough about port mechanics to do that right now. Hopefully next episode we can get into some other stuff but I don't know when the next episode is going to be because I am currently working on the Hermitcraft TCG series 2 so pre-order should be available soon and artwork is being revealed and then once again I am working on crowd compilation and uh, promotional vendors and all that stuff so a lot of behind the scenes stuff that is taking up a lot of my time but we'll see what I can do and I'll still try to get some stuff done on the backyard server or at least somewhere else but that is where we are going to have to leave it I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one bye